Dr. Grupp, I know a lot of you viewers are wondering this. You know, we listened to Emily's story and we listened to Sue's story and they talked about how they were on all these treatments and they didn't work and it was years and years and all of this stuff went on emotionally, physically. And then they got this treatment and within days they were in remission. Why is it that this isn't a first line treatment for patients with their conditions? Is it because of the potential risk associated with it? Is it a cost thing? What's going on there? So what it is, is a data thing. Cost is a concern, but oncology costs are a concern across the board. Any of the new drugs are fairly expensive. And so the answer is we got to do those clinical trials and maybe save people multiple rounds of chemotherapy or other treatments and maybe get to something that actually can stop the disease in their tracks and stay that way. I mean, you know, in Emily's case, nine years later, she's in remission. What is the success rate and what are the numbers showing people remaining in remission? The success rate in getting patients in remission at our hospital, we just published a trial, 97% of the patients went into remission. So we're pretty pleased by that, but you asked a really important question. They gotta stay there. So what's the likelihood of staying in remission two, three years out? And it's you know about 60% or so. And we also wanna look at the five and 10 year rates, but we need to get more people further out from the treatment having just started this uh, in the you know, 2010, 2011, 2012. And so we need to follow these patients for longer to know uh, how many are really uh, cured the way that we believe that Emily is. Amazing stuff. Well, Emily and Sue, we know that despite your success, it's been a challenging road. So we wanted to do something special for the both of you. Guess what? We're sending each of you, including Emily's parents, on a seven-day, six-night trip to the remarkable resort destination, Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty. I wish I was going with you, but I guess no ticket for me. But you'll enjoy Atlantis's five miles of magnificent white sand beaches, the world's largest open-air marine habitat, Aqua Venture Water Park, 11 incredible pools, 18 hole oceanfront golf course, fine dining, shopping, it's got it all. You'll also receive a round trip flight to the Bahamas courtesy of Fairness. Airfares vary a lot by date and Fairness helps you book the cheapest travel date and destination using a fair calendar. So what do you ladies think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's I'd like to send Dr. Grupp too, but I guess that wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> I, have so many, I have so many kids. I never go really, you know, I've never, we, my husband and I, we don't go on vacation. Well, guess what? Pack your bathing suit because you're heading to the Bahamas. Thank you. Dr. Grupp, you're invited to come and meet us down there if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Well, listen. Good luck with everything, all of you that we had on this, this wonderful program today, Emily, Tom, Sue, and thank you, Dr. Grupp. We, as, as a doctor, I'm telling you, I'm impressed. We're in your debt for what you do and you're continuing to do. I mean, you are a super doc and a super scientist. Keep up the great work. Thanks for having me on.